you guys. So welcome back to another vlog. Today I have the day off because it's Good Friday. My Easter is actually this week because I am Greek Orthodox. So I'm celebrating on Sunday with my family and I am going home later today. So I have basically the entire first half of the day to do whatever I want. And so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I had a very slow morning, it was really nice. I woke up, I showered, did the whole breakfast thing, made my bed. I have like two piles of clothes behind me that I have to put away because they're now folded. And then I also have to do like so many other like housekeeping things that I don't necessarily want to do, but we are gonna mix in a little bit of like the self care stuff with the chores that I have to do. And so it's just gonna be like, yeah, all of that kind of stuff. We are also going to meet one of our Instagram friends. So she just moved here. I don't, I wanna say she moved here from Chicago, but I forget. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't say that, but I'll obviously ask her when we see her, but we're going at 12. So it's almost 10 o'clock now. The nail salon that I go to opens at 10 and we're having a little bit of a nail tragedy here. So this one chipped off yesterday, but basically because I've been in the warehouse at work and like going through a bunch of boxes and stuff, my nails are just like suffering. And I went 10 days ago and I went to a girl that I don't normally go to at the salon and she did it a little bit thicker than I like for it to be. So kind of just like solidifies the fact that I will only go to the one lady and I'm gonna call them in a couple minutes to see if they have an appointment like right as they open because I obviously like don't wanna go to Easter with chip nails. Oh, and this one just broke. That's fantastic because it was already broken before. I just, you know, we're struggling over here. But I made myself a little lemon water and I have my to-do list. So I have a pile of boxes that I have to break down over here. I kind of don't want to show you guys, but like, oh, you can't see. But they're right there near the door where I literally cannot even get out of my room. So that's definitely high on the priority list for today. I have to do laundry. I don't know what's been going on, but every time I do laundry, I feel like by the time I'm done doing two loads, my hamper is still like filled to the brim. And I feel like I'm just gonna have to do like four loads of laundry today and just get it all done because I can't stand having a really crowded hamper. It's like driving me insane when I come home and I wanna throw my clothes in there and I have to like shove everything in there. It's just something that like stresses me out that shouldn't stress me out, but it also can be like fixed easily and I have control over it. So doing laundry today, that was like a very deep discussion about laundry. <laughs> Um, and then I actually have to unpack my backpack from, cause I went home on Wednesday to go to a church, server, a church service with my mom. The Wednesday service is like our healing service. So um, I decided to go home for that and go with my mom. So I have to unpack my bag and then I have to repack everything because I need to be a little bit strategic. Obviously the weather's changing here in New York. So it's getting a lot warmer and I have to put like boots and things and just be like strategic with what I need to bring home. So I'm gonna plan all that out and make sure that it makes sense for like being able to bring stuff back and put it into my wardrobe. And then I'm also gonna film a spring outfits video. So out of the pile of stuff that I have to put away, I have this pile here that's like my leather jacket, some light wash jeans and leggings and my Frankie Shops jacket dupe from H&M. And that's basically some of the items that I'm gonna be using to style in the video. So I'm not putting them away. I'm gonna put them onto hangers and then build my little clothing rack, whatever it is, stuffed behind this bench probably, and get that done. But probably not until like later this afternoon because I get sunlight in here pretty well, but I feel like it like really gets really bright in here when the sun is on that side, which is gonna be around like two or three o'clock. So I'll do that like right before I leave to go home. And then I also wanted to do like a quick little like Saturday video um, especially since like I'm putting out so many vlogs lately, I want to like keep up with the fashion content as much as I'm keeping up with the vlogs. So I'm thinking of doing like a handbag, like what fits in my handbag video, not like a what's in my bag because I feel like no one really cares if I'm like carrying around lip gloss and hand sanitizer or whatever, but like just so that if you guys are thinking of like purchasing either the exact same bag or something like similar in size and you can get an idea of like what it's used to war where you can bring it and then I'll also do like a mini review. So that's a plan to do. And then I already said I'm getting my nails done and that's basically it. So not tons to do. Um, we also are going to meet Megan. So yeah, it's gonna be like a nice little mishmash of a day. 
We're gonna go to Ralph's Coffee, which I haven't had in like, maybe like four, maybe a month. I think the last time I went was with Sandra and we went to Blank Street the last two times she was here. So yeah, it's been a while and I love their ice lattes. So I'm excited for that. And I just like, I don't know. There's just something about walking around in the spring in New York City to a coffee shop and just like moseying around and I don't know. It just makes me happy. And this weather, of course, makes me happy too. So um, I'm going to dry my hair and get ready quickly, throw on some sweat clothes and then get down to the nail salon. Hopefully the girl that usually does my nails is not off on Fridays because I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, the situation really isn't that bad. It's like there's cracks in the polish and it's annoying the crap out of me because I'm so particular, but this is, you know, what we're dealing with. So I also have to film, film, film two videos, um, both of which I spoke about in my last vlog and I just didn't do them. I don't know why. I think I just wasn't motivated that day. So we're gonna try to film those today. And then I have a couple of unboxings that I'll show you guys because I will probably wear one of these in one of the outfits that I style for shooting later. So I have to go because I'm going to be late and we have to meet Megan by 12 and it's 10. So gotta get my nails done, get ready and leave. Okay, I'm going to attempt to show you guys my outfit, but it is just a sorry little mess in here. So please excuse that. I will be cleaning it today. But I have my Hey Matt um, crew neck on. It says Jesus Lover. This is like customizable, so you can get whatever you want on it. We have Ray-Ban sunglasses because I have no makeup on. And then I have my hair up in my Cove Essentials clip. Holds everything in there, which is great. I'm actually going to get a haircut tomorrow, but until then I have so much hair and it's hard to like keep it all in here and I think I'm actually keeping it long so that'll be helpful once I you know now in this phase of my life where I have super long hair and it all fits in there which is perfect and then on the bottom I just have my Princess Polly joggers on these are a part of a set but I kind of just wear them separately too if I want to I mean it's a little bit cold out for me to be wearing a tank top so I threw on a crew neck instead of just wearing the matching top and then I have my high top converse on which like, I thought this outfit was a little bit chaotic and it's not really, but then we throw in the handbag and it's like, what is going on? This was the one that was out and ready to go. So I just threw all my crap in it because I made this appointment very last minute, literally called the salon when they opened and they had time for me at 10 15. So I'm gonna go see my girl Coco and hopefully get this nail situation figured out. I think I'm just gonna do bright red because I've been wanting to do it for the past three times that I went, but I'm like going rogue and picking like these like Fiji looking colors. Like why, I mean, and I didn't love this one because it was so thick. So I'm like just very turned off by it, but I think we're just gonna go. We're not doing a French, we're not doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna get regular bright red, even though bright red is like not regular at all. You guys, this weather is absolutely stunning. I can't even get over it and I've only been out here for 30 seconds. Um, but I also forgot to tell you guys because last night I was coming home from work and was walking like, you know, in the boonies like I always do. And there was a goose that was sitting on the grass and I didn't see him and I was like walking next to the curb. So I guess I got really close and it hissed at me. And I was like, I, like I thought it was a snake. It was very scary. And then when I got home, I was like, okay, whatever. Like I'm exhausted. I had such a long week of work, but I have off today. So I'm going to go out with my friends and just like go and have a little beer at a pub. And I did that. And as I go to leave the building, there is a homeless man disrobing in our lobby of our building. So it wasn't in the actual lobby. It was like, we have two doors. So there's one door that you go into. They're both locked. You have to use your key for both. So the first one's locked. And then the second one, and they're both like clear doors. Sorry, subway passing underground. Um, and I like go, I'm like on my phone, like telling people that I'm on my way and whatever. And I look up and there's this guy undressing. And I was like, excuse me. Um, but yeah, super random story for that. I'm about to be at the nail salon, so I will update you later. Okay guys, nails are done. I also just got ready because it's 12.10 and I'm meeting 
Megan at one now and Steph went to walk Roscoe because he was getting a little stir crazy. So um, I'm gonna leave here in about like 30 minutes because it's like a very close walk for me, but I have to style up my outfits that I'm gonna shoot today. So one of them, I'm gonna do a dress, which I'm sure a lot of people are probably surprised about that. And then the other one, I think I'm gonna do like some sort of blazer with a sandal combo. So I wanted to show you guys the shoes that I just got in because I'm probably gonna wear one of them, but I'm not sure which ones yet, mostly because I forget which ones I picked out. So let me just retrieve them. Okay, I don't know why. I think I'm like rolling all over the place. I don't know why these are in two different size boxes, but I think they're the same, like I think they're both sandals. Um, by the way, these are called Jiffy Cutters. I don't know if they sell these like normally because we use these at work, but they are like the most convenient thing to have around your house if you're opening boxes because they're so tiny and you literally just slot them back in like that. You're not supposed to use your fingers, you're supposed to use like a surface to like just press it down, but they're just really convenient. It's way better than using a knife because I mean, number one, you eat with those. And also this is just like made for opening packages. So I feel like we gotta use these also nail color absolute perfection never going to anybody else besides coco no matter where i end up living in the city over the next however many years i'm gonna make the trek to go see her because she's just a little nail angel um okay and i haven't broken those boxes down as you can see right behind me but i have to get like everything together and just bring it all down at once because i don't want to have like extra ones trickling in because I just want it all out and I need it all out. So, okay, the first style that we have, which I think actually might be really cute with my white blazer, are these raffia style. They have a little bit of a heel, but like almost in the way where it dresses it up so that it doesn't look like a flip flop, but it's not a heel at all. Like these are gonna be really easy to walk in. I love that they have like a crisscross strap here and then these two are just like straight across. I think it's a really cute detail and these are also like a perfect vacation shoe. So. I mean, I've been going away an insane amount and I think I only have like four vacation days left. So I don't know that I have any, well, as of right now, I don't have any trips planned, but um, I will probably go down to the beach a couple times and those would be nice as like a little dinner shoe if we end up going to like, you know, a seafood restaurant. That just got so specific, but you guys know what I mean. And then this next box, oh, maybe because, no. Oh, I, for some reason, thought that these three pairs came in three different shipments, but I think that one came first, and then these both came after. Nope, this is one pair of shoes that I So I need to figure out where the, where I put... Where did I put that other pair? I will figure it out. I just, I don't even know what's wrong with me. Um, okay, so then this pair... Okay, these are cute. And a little bit different from something that I would normally pick out because they're like a platform sandal. Really nice camel color here. I love that I can carry this tone into the springtime because I feel like, I mean, even in the winter, I feel like I don't wear enough camel because it's a very nice, like warm tone. And I feel like it needs to be in my wardrobe a little bit more, but they're kind of like these three different, actually like four different materials, here. five? Is the sole a different color? Yeah. So, I mean, they're all neutrals and it kind of feels like a color blocking shoe to me where like, if you wear an outfit with all different shades of the same color, it still goes together. And then you still have the braided raffia here. So I feel like that's just a very like islandy detail, but because of the leather, these are perfect for like every day. And I mean, they feel like very spongy and comfortable. So um, yeah, I might, I don't know which shoes I'm gonna style because I mean, they're all neutral and I feel like they'll all work really well with the blazer. So I'm just gonna have to figure out what I end up wanting to go for because I almost feel like the all Ralphie is a little bit too summery and then I can wear those with like a dress and stuff when like the actual summer season comes. But I feel like I might wanna do these for now. Um, or the other pair, like why do I not know where those are? Did they not even, did they not arrive? No, they must have. I think I'm just like being a little spacey right now. Anyway, 
I am gonna pack all this stuff up and then I'm gonna film my quick little what's in my handbag video slash review. And then I'm gonna get dressed to go. And I think I'm wearing, um, so like a slip dress and I haven't decided what jacket I wanna put over it, but I was thinking like maybe we just do slip dress, high top black Converse and a black leather jacket because it is really nice today, but it's a little bit chilly in the shade. So I think it'll be very, um, what is the word? Responsible, I don't know, for me to put on a leather jacket so that I'm not cold. Cause I hate being cold and I always am. So. Okay, so moving to the next thing on the checklist, filming the handbag video. Okay, so I didn't have time to show you guys my outfit because I was breaking down those boxes, but this is what we're wearing. I have this dress on from Zara, this leather jacket from H&M, coach bag, Ray-Ban sunglasses, and I just walked across the street and there was a huge gust of wind, and I'm pretty sure seven people saw my butt cheeks. Um, yeah, but I'm walking to Ralph's right now and it's just glorious out here. It just could put you in such a good mood. The only thing is that my hair is kind of bothering me, so I think I'm just gonna wear it down. And I mean, like, I love my clips, but, and I feel like this outfit needs hair up, but maybe I'll do a couple of different options because I never really know, but I thought that it looked cute up. I'm just not really sure. So. I will be there in like five minutes. I think we get there like directly on time. And then we're gonna get some Ralphs, which I'm so excited for, especially since it's like, I'm like sweating a little bit. So I could definitely use a nice coffee. Also my lip combo, like walking through the streets, telling you about my lipstick, but I have the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on. And then over the top, don't remember what the name of this Morphe gloss is. So I'm gonna pull it out really quickly. But this is what it looks like. Okay, I just looked like I had old lady hands. Um, and it's called Pixie. So it's a little bit more of like a browner nude that I threw on top. And oh my gosh, it's a pen store. Oh my gosh, it's a stationery store. Wait, no, that's a clothing store. But they have like rows and rows of pens. I might have to stop in there on my way back. Not that I need to be spending money on anything, especially for pens. So. Yeah, that's my lip color. I got the Pixie Gloss a while ago, and then I got Charlotte Tilbury after that, and then I, you know, put them together because Charlotte Tilbury's a little bit pinkier, and this is like more brown. So, longest explanation of a lip combo you will ever experience in your life. And I'm almost at Ralph's, so let's go get a latte. Um, we're just doing. Megan's here too. <laughs> We're in a red seat right now, just walking around looking at things that we can't afford. And we went to Zara before. Megan got a birthday outfit, super cute. And we're just getting inspo in a red seat. And then we're gonna leave and try to find it somewhere else. I gotta edit that out. <laughs> Bad blood. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the day is still glorious. Of course, it's windy every single time that I walk outside. We took some pictures. We shopped around. Is there anywhere else you guys want to go? Yeah, we're on a little an impromptu shopping trip. Because <laughs> I wasn't expecting to look at anything, but here we are shopping. All right, you guys. It's a little bit later now. We just did a little bit of shopping and I'm walking back to my apartment because I have to pack and it's 2.30 and I probably have to leave at like 3.30 because the train is at 5.20 and I can't miss it because then I would miss church. So, church is at seven. I have to take that train, um, but it's an express one so it should only take like a half hour. And the beautiful thing is that if you take the train from Hoboken, you don't have to transfer. But if I take it from Penn Station, I normally have to transfer one stop, which like adds 15 minutes to the journey, which we don't want. Um, so I'm gonna run home now and pack stuff, but I really wanted to film a video and I literally don't have time. I might do the wine one quickly though, because I have been like putting it off for so long and that box in the corner of my room is driving me insane. You guys saw the time lapse of me breaking down the boxes and I literally had to leave the wine one because 
I can't unpack the stuff until I film the video. So I think I'm just gonna try to do that quickly or at least do the clip of me taking everything out so that I can get that out of my room because I already feel so much lighter without all those boxes there. So that's my plan right now. I actually need to pick up the pace a little bit because I don't have that much time. And I have to get on the subway with the suitcase, I think, which is gonna be just golden. Um, but yeah, Megan was so nice. We had such a nice time, we went to Ralph's. And then we ran into my friend Carly at Zara. And she was like walking by and I was like looking at her. And she was like, oh my gosh, you didn't say hi to me at first. So I thought that you were Vanessa. And I was like, no, it's me. Just, you know, walking around on a Friday like I shouldn't be. I didn't like tell my friends that I was taking off. So she had no idea. So that was a little confusion there, but heading home now. And I honestly wish that I had a little bit more time to walk around because it's the most gorgeous day out ever. And this is why I want to work from home a little bit more because I can go out and like take walks during my hour lunch break and stuff and just like be able to be here a little bit more. But obviously before the pandemic, like no one used to work from home. So I try to like keep that perspective a little bit, but it's just a little bit hard when you live in New York City with like all this pretty, you know, buildings and things like that. And I normally get home when it's like dark out or about to be dark. So yeah, but hopefully in the future, I'll have some projects that I can work on from home and then be able to do that a little bit more. So I gotta pick up the pace, some slacking, I have no time and get home and pack. Okay, you guys, back at the apartment, I kind of feel like I have a lot more time than I thought I did, but I can never have that mindset because then I will end up doing a bunch of things and then rushing and being late. Um, please excuse the mess behind me. I'm trying to pack all this stuff. I also found the other pair of shoes that I was looking for and I did receive them because I literally showed you guys them in a vlog a week ago. So these are them. I don't know the name of them, but they're these like really cute braided white sandals. They have a little faux crocodile um, base to them. So cute. And I'm gonna bring these home for this weekend because it's supposed to be really nice. So I have to pack those and I have to also pack my winter boots to get them out of my wardrobe. But I just made myself a little quick snack. So I've been eating ricotta toast like an unhealthy amount. And it's probably because the first time I went to eat it, the package said like, there's no preservatives in it. So like when you make it, you should probably like, or when you open the package, like you should start eating it like consistently after. And I'm only one person. So I feel like ricotta toast is just like the only way to eat the majority of it like as quickly as I can. So I basically just toast a piece of white bread and then I put olive oil on it, throw the ricotta on top. And then I put like salt and then I have this Tuscan herb seasoning i think it's from pampered chef from when my mom used to work that little pyramid scheme and um it's actually really good it's like oregano garlic and something else but i don't know it just looks like oregano and garlic but that might be it um really good such a quick and easy like snack to throw together if you guys like aren't you know i know a lot of people have like gluten allergies and like dairy and all that kind of stuff but if you're not then it's a really really good snack to have so i'm gonna eat this quickly um, I have to refill my lemon water. I feel like I'm drinking a lot of water today, but for some reason I just like feel very thirsty, which is really weird. Also, if you guys can see behind me, no more boxes, only a piece of paper on the ground. So I just filmed the wine collaboration video finally. I don't know why my hair looks frizzy. I literally curled it, probably because I put it in a clip afterwards. Um, but filmed all that it feels amazing to have that box literally broken down in the hallway and I also broke down the shoe boxes so I'm gonna bring all that stuff down just getting everything out of here because for a while now my room has been like overcrowded with stuff and it was kind of when I went on vacation and started to bring like summer and spring stuff here I just felt like there was too much stuff and I also received packages like from time to time so just like bringing so much in and not really like cycling any of it out is just like stressing me out a little bit so we're getting that out of here and then I just have to clean. So I have a little bit of time. This is why you don't curl your hair and put in the effort and then put it in a clip. Cause I had it like twirled up in a little clip for my outfit. Um, I'll fix it later. Um, yeah, so I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, but oh, I was gonna film my spring, summer like outfits or whatever video, but I only have an hour and a half and cutaways alone takes like 
a good amount of time and then I also have to film like the talk through portion so I don't know if I'll get that done I'm definitely gonna do the handbag video because I didn't have time to do it earlier today and I have one thing to do for work so it's just so good um so yeah I think I'm gonna do my work thing on the train though because it's technically me editing a video so it's a good thing I have YouTube experience because otherwise probably wouldn't be able to do it but I'm gonna vlog this weekend separately from this daily vlog because last weekend I vlogged and I ended up being like why did I do that I literally am not doing anything the only thing I really did was celebrate Easter with my dad's side of the family so I was like I don't know that I'm gonna waste the time editing this when I'm literally just sitting there talking to you um but I am going to vlog this weekend because I booked myself a massage tomorrow morning I haven't gotten a massage in like two years and I feel like based on my stress level at work and everything I definitely need one and then I'm also going to get my hair cut so I think I'm gonna leave the length and just cut my layers because you can see that they're like very grown out and this piece in the front here I haven't gotten a haircut in like six six months but this piece in the front used to be my face frame that was up here so I have to get that cut the only downside is that when I wear my slick bun I want to have the pieces like reach into the bun so I don't have to wear bobby pins but I've been wearing a clip instead of doing the slick bun lately because it's the same effect but I don't have to like tightly pull my hair back which is kind of nice and in that case I can keep my part and just have the pieces like hanging out on the side here so um that's my plan for my haircut I literally go to this lady who charges 40 well she doesn't charge 40 dollars it's like a very huge salon and the haircut's like 38 dollars and I don't get a blowout because I don't want to pay for that um and so yeah I'm really excited to get my haircut because I haven't gone in like probably like five months which is a little bit crazy normally I go every like three months and that's even like really long for me but because it hasn't been like a nuisance really besides my blow drying time it's like taking me forever to blow dry my hair but other than that it hasn't really been like a problem so that's why I've waited this long um but now that I've been talking for a little bit I'm realizing that I'm doing that thing where I think I have so much time and I actually don't so I'm going to get all my stuff together and pack so that I can actually I think what I might do is pack first so that I'm already ready and then I can start filming video content after that and just film up until I have to leave so that I'm not like you know doing it the other way around where like I don't know I have an issue with prioritizing things I don't know what is like the deal with that but basically I'll be like oh I have to pack but that'll take 20 minutes and then I end up like doing stuff up until and then it only leaves me 15 minutes and then I'm like running around trying to do stuff so let me pack first and then I will use whatever time I have left to film whatever video content I can because we still have to do, I don't know. I feel like I still have so much to do, but I got up this morning and haven't stopped doing things. I also haven't had time to do my laundry, which is a little bit disappointing because I really wanted to get that done today. But I don't know, I'll just do it probably on Monday when I get back because I'll go straight to work from home on Monday because I live in New Jersey and I work in New Jersey. So that wouldn't really make sense for me to come back here Sunday night and then commute into New Jersey the next day. So um next week should be a lot quieter i don't have as many things like after work to do so hopefully i'll be able to get my laundry done then and just have an empty hamper because that's like the only thing i dream about lately is having an empty hamper and like how sad is that anyway i need to stop talking because we gotta get the situation sorted all right so i know that i haven't updated you guys in a little while it is now Saturday evening at like 6 p.m. I ended up filming my handbag video today, even though I was supposed to do it yet. Excuse me. Come here. Come. That's my good boy. Come here. Oh, you want to play? No, we're saying hi to the people, okay? Because they don't get to... Oh. <laughs> because they don't get to see you. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so yeah, me and Enzo have been sitting here. I finished my handbag video and then edited it and then now I'm just waiting for the it actually like went on to YouTube in like maybe 27 minutes I think I keep track a lot now because you guys know the struggle that I've been through but now it's been processing the HD version for about an hour so that's very frustrating because it's actually uploaded and now I'm just waiting for it to do like nonsense stuff and 
I would just put it up, but I can't because the quality is like noticeably different. Um, especially for someone who vlogs and like does video stuff on my phone, I feel like obviously it's not gonna be as good as a like a video camera quality. So I wanna make sure that it's the HD. So right now I'm just waiting for that. Um, and what else was I gonna say? Oh, did I say sorry for not updating you guys? I can't remember. But yesterday was a very like seamless travel experience. It's probably because I only brought my little carry-on suitcase, but I've already unpacked it and I'm gonna be like strategically trying to figure out what to put in it to bring back. Okay, that's a gross noise. No one wants to hear that. Okay, but thank you. Um, Okay, you need to go over there if you're gonna do that. But yeah, so I just needed to end this vlog out because I honestly, for someone who has such a tiny audience on here like I feel like I'm pretty good with updating you guys and making sure that I'm you know being conscious of picking up the camera and stuff but I don't know what it is whenever I come home I actually did start another vlog so that's the really sad part about this time is that I actually am vlogging I'm just not like I just didn't finish this off so sorry about that but that's gonna be the end of this little daily vlog so you guys got to see a little bit of gallivanting in the city um kind of a little bit something different because i feel like i don't normally have like places to go and people to see but as i said in the springtime in the summer like we're just going to be doing so much more stuff and we'll be outside a lot more and the city's just going to be like a lot more like there'll be a lot more going on so thank you guys so much for watching um as always i appreciate you guys so much and if you are not subscribed already make sure you click that button and i hope to see you guys in my next video